guys, in this episode, we're gonna be talking about refactoring an old project. And this one is Axe's Tenant. Um, I got access as a maintainer of this today, actually. And I'll be maintaining this going forward. The author has been busy with other things. And this project's been a bit neglected and needs some help maintaining it. And we use it in Jumpstart Pro, so it makes perfect sense for me to maintain this. And I've already done a ton of work refactoring this gem to improve it for the latest versions of Rails. So let's dive in to how we would go bring an old project up to speed. Now, first things first, I wanna look at the gem spec because I'm in a gem. If I was in a Rails app, I would go look at the gem file. And I wanna see what the dependencies are. So right now we have two dependencies that are required, request store and Rails, makes sense. We have RSpec, RSpec Rails, Database Cleaner, SQLite and Sidekick. Now, Sidekick was originally listed as specifically version 3.2.1, and I removed that because I want to use the latest version of Sidekick. I wanna make sure that it's tested against that because most of the people using this will be running the latest Sidekick, or at least I hope so. So we want to update that SQL, or the Sidekick dependency. SQLite um, is fine. Database Cleaner I would like to remove. It's just an extra dependency. We don't want to do too many reads and clears of the database and writes. Uh, we want to ideally use fixtures because this gem is not very complicated when it comes to database models. So if we can use the built-in Rails fixtures with our test suite, we can have a setup database ready to go for us and simplify a lot of things. So that's a dependency I would like to drop. Um, but the rest of it I think looks good. The one thing here I don't know is a runtime dependency versus a dependency in a gem. I've actually never used a runtime dependency here. So that'll be new to me. The other thing is we wanna go into our gem file and look and see if there's any of those gems added here. This is what Bundler is going to install. And so it will load the gem spec for you but you can also add other dependencies in here as well. So you might add, say, a standard RB into your gem uh, file. And if we run bundle to install that, we will get um, standard installed, and we can run bundle exec standard RB, and we'll see there are a lot of formatting issues with this compared to the standard RB um, required syntax. So this is enforcing that syntax and if we use dash dash fix, it will go and take care of as much of it as it can. 